Almost everyone had one. They were renowned for their reliability and dependability. Many models were genuine hits, released in millions of copies. The famous ringtone even became a distinctive audio brand, Nokia. Cell phones from this brand have consistently surprised us. Today, we'll revisit some of the most unusual models of the Finnish brand, which bewildered some and delighted others, but left no one indifferent. Let's start with the model featured in the sci-fi movie, The Matrix. This is the Nokia 8110, which was released in 1997. The device's main features included an unusual curved shape, earning it the nickname Banana, and a protective cover on the front panel. Most models in this series had a manually sliding cover. However, in the movie, a limited edition version was used where the cover opened rapidly at the push of a button. Thanks to The Matrix, the phone gained immense popularity, and even today, there are quite a few people who want to buy this legendary device. Interestingly, in February 2018, HMD Global introduced the Nokia 8110 4G model, which visually resembles the legendary Banana, and was even released in a stylish yellow design. But this is merely a nod to the once popular retro style. The new Nokia is a thoroughly modern product, running on the KaiOS operating system, featuring a 2 megapixel camera, and equipped with 4 g Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and GPS modules, Nokia 5510. This model, released in December 2001, was the first in the brand's history to feature a horizontal layout and a built-in MP3 player. Only 64 megabytes were allocated for song storage, yet music enthusiasts who were not too demanding were overjoyed. Additionally, the device's main feature was a full-fledged QWERTY keyboard, allowing for much faster typing. Considering that the monochrome display had a resolution of only 84 by 84 pixels, it's hard to believe today that using such a phone was comfortable. Nevertheless, for the early 21st century, it was a true breakthrough. Next on our list is the Nokia 3650, which entered the market in 2003 and became the forerunner of an entire series of devices. This phone, or rather smartphone, operated on the Symbian operating system. It featured a 0.3 megapixel camera on the back panel, and file transfer capabilities included both a Bluetooth module and an infrared port. It's worth noting that this Nokia was targeted towards the youth market. The device attracted customers with its vibrant body colors and interchangeable panels, and most importantly, its unconventional key arrangement. It was somewhat reminiscent of the dial layout on retro rotary telephones, which were once commonplace in many homes. However, there was a twist. In the Nokia 3650, all the numbers were positioned from left to right in a counterclockwise order. Consequently, even fans of rotary phones found it challenging to adapt to the keypad of this new mobile phone. In summary, not all Nokia enthusiasts were fond of this design. As a response, the Finnish company soon launched the Nokia 3660 model with a traditional keyboard layout. The youth-oriented Nokia 3650, however, went down in the brand's history as an exceptionally original and affordable device in its price range, but notably inconvenient to use. Nokia 6800. This model, released in 2003, was designed for those who frequently communicated via SMS. Its standout feature was a fold-out QWERTY keyboard, which significantly expedited and simplified typing. Following this model's design, the Finnish company introduced several variations. These differed from their predecessor with improved screen resolution, Bluetooth support, and the inclusion of a rear camera. The flagship of the series was the Nokia E70 model, released in May 2006. This device was marketed as a high-end phone, and priced at about $500. It boasted 64 megabytes of internal memory, Bluetooth, 3G, Wi-Fi, a 2 megapixel camera, and the capability for voice calls. The list continues with the Nokia 3300, which piqued interest with its exotic appearance. It was likely designed for the youth market, drawing attention with its multicolored interchangeable panels. It was likely designed for the youth market, drawing attention with its multicolored interchangeable panels. Technically, this model wasn't revolutionary. However, it had a unique feature. The Nokia 3300 was marketed as a phone for music enthusiasts. It supported the most popular music formats and also featured a built-in FM tuner and voice recorder. Due to its limited built-in memory, 64 megabytes, the phone could store only about two hours of favorite music. Nonetheless, owners noted its decent sound quality for the time and its affordability. Thus, the developer's attempt to merge a phone with an MP3 player was largely successful. The company then went a step further and created the 3300B model with a QWERTY keyboard, targeting the North American market. Next on our list is the Nokia N-Gage, 
Released in October 2003, this device became the world's first gaming console phone. It operated on the Symbian operating system and was equipped with a Bluetooth interface, enabling users to easily play favorite games with friends. However, all participants in the game needed similar devices. This model had several drawbacks, the main ones being its high price and the awkward placement of the speaker at the top end. Nevertheless, Nokia promptly addressed these issues and within six months released an improved version of the device called N-Gage QD. The updated phone was more compact and featured an enhanced display, with the speaker relocated to the front surface. Additionally, the device lost its FM receiver, USB jack, MP3 player, and stereo output. As a result, its price was also reduced. Unlike the original Nokia N-Gage, this version gained significant popularity with the public and sold more than 3 million units. Nokia 7600 This distinctive phone was launched in 2003, but rather than gaining acclaim, it puzzled fans of the Finnish brand. Despite featuring a 0.3 megapixel camera, MP3 player, infrared port, and Bluetooth module, the phone was not very popular due to its inconvenient usability. Holding the device with one hand was quite challenging, and dialing a number or texting required exceptional dexterity. Nevertheless, the Nokia 7600 captivated the public with its stylish, futuristic design. For its owners, it became more of a conversation piece that attracted attention. Overall, the model did not go unnoticed and found its niche audience. It is noteworthy that the Nokia 7600 remains sought after among enthusiasts and collectors of rare cell phones. The unique design of the 7280 also garnered attention. This new device was a sensation due to its lack of a traditional keyboard. Number dialing and menu navigation were accomplished using a scroll wheel and an enter button. The presence of a camera was not immediately obvious. However, it was indeed included, cleverly concealed within the case. To take a photo, the user had to slide the panel open and then select the appropriate option in the menu. It's worth mentioning that the camera did not support video recording, and the picture quality was not the best. Nevertheless, the device gained fame, particularly among women. Thanks to its unusual and somewhat glamorous design, it became more than a means of communication. It was a fashionable accessory with the functionality of a cell phone. The 7710, released in 2004, was Nokia's first smartphone with a touchscreen display. Compared to its predecessors, the device boasted fantastic features. It had 90 megabytes of internal memory, expandable up to 2 gigabytes. The camera, with a resolution of 1 megapixel, could shoot videos at 17 frames per second. Unique for its time, the smartphone operated on the Symbian OS, but featured the new Series 90 interface, which, incidentally, was not used on any other serial device. The Nokia 7710 was one of the first smartphones that enabled users to access email, create and edit documents in Office applications like Word and Excel, as well as view PDF files. The mid-2000s marked the golden era for Nokia. It was during this period that the Finnish manufacturer inundated its fans with an array of unusual gadgets. In 2005, the N-Series was launched, featuring several iconic models. One such model was the N90, a clamshell phone with two screens and a swivel design. It was marketed as a camera phone and became the world's first smartphone with glass optics. Utilizing Carl Zeiss lenses, its 2 megapixel camera with an LED flash could capture impressive photos for its time, including macro shots. To activate the camera, a few simple movements were required, rotating the screen by 270 degrees and transforming the clamshell into a traditional video camera. Just a year later, Nokia introduced the N93, a stylish smartphone with an improved 3.2 megapixel camera, also featuring Carl Zeiss optics. The screen of this device could be opened not only in the traditional clamshell manner, but also horizontally, making it very convenient for watching videos. The phone recorded videos at a decent quality for that time in MP4 format, with a resolution of 640 by 480 pixels, and could also connect to a TV. The high-quality photo and video capabilities of the Nokia N93, along with its extensive connectivity and internet access, were recognized by the European Multimedia Press Association. The organization dubbed this model a computer in the palm of your hand, and awarded it the title of European Multimedia Phone 2006-2007. In 2005, Nokia also released an innovative device with a rotary mechanism. By rotating the bottom part of the case, users could turn the traditional keyboard by 180 degrees for full access to the keys and music player controls. 
With a 90 degree turn, the camera could be activated. Depending on the position of the rotating unit, it was easy to take both regular photos and selfies. The Model 3250 featured a micro SD slot and supported up to 2 gigabytes of memory, allowing users to store about 500 music songs. The Nokia 3250's loudspeaker, flexible equalizer settings, stereo sound expansion, and bass amplification deserved special attention. As a result, the Nokia 3250 appealed to not only enthusiasts of creative gadgets, but also to avid music lovers. True Nokia fans fondly recall the N91 model, which was one of the Finnish brand's best button smartphones. The Nokia N91 hit the market in 2006 and immediately earned the prestigious title of the most innovative product. This device became the world's first smartphone with a built-in 4GB hard disk, and later versions featured an 8GB hard disk drive. The phone was built with a substantial reserve of durability, had a stainless steel case, and weighed 160 grams. The metal construction of the device was not merely for aesthetics. It served the practical purpose of protecting the hard disk from drops and rough handling. That's why even today, you can still find a Nokia N91 that looks worn but continues to function flawlessly. The traditional telephone keypad on the N91 was concealed under the front panel, which also housed the music player control keys. Like many other Nokia products, this model catered to music enthusiasts. The smartphone's audio system was developed by the renowned American company Harman Kardon, a leader in consumer and automotive hi-fi electronics. As a result, the Nokia N91 was known for its high sound quality, and is still considered one of the best cell phones in this respect. The selection of the most unusual Nokia phones concludes with the Nokia 7705 twist, announced in 2009. This square device was specifically created for the American market, more precisely for the US cellular operator Verizon. The phone's standout feature was a rotating ring, which lit up during an incoming call or when receiving SMS messages. The device included a QWERTY keyboard, a 3 megapixel camera with autofocus and flash, and the back of the rotating panel had a mirror coating, allowing for beautiful selfies. But despite all these features and its compact size, the model did not achieve widespread recognition or popularity. Nokia has always strived to keep up with the times. Before the global emergence of smartphones running on iOS and Android operating systems, it was a dominant player in its segment. However, progress does not stand still, and contemporary mobile technologies have long surpassed the achievements of the Finnish brand. Nevertheless, some users continue to appreciate Nokia's creations for their distinctive design, familiar interface, and other hallmark features. After all, it's Nokia. This means these devices certainly deserve a spot in the gallery of classic cell phones.